cooking guys, I'm gonna explain the Yankee pot glitch. It's extremely straightforward and easy to do actually, but there's a lot to think about when you're doing the glitch. Uh, you see, the glitch starts by, if you kill the helicopter here on Caravan, and there's like possibly a lot of monsters that you can do this with. So you don't have to do this on Caravan, but Caravan is the like, easiest place to do it on. And then you collect the bolts here, and like, like you should know that the helicopter drops like between 500, 400 and 670 bolts or something. Which means you get a lot of bolts here. But that doesn't matter, it's like the reason why it matters comes later. But then you just get the helipack here. And what happens now is the game is saving. And like you could save by yourself, you could just kill the helicopter and save. But it's smarter to just get this heli pack and then save and then you can load the game and actually as this trick works you could just get the Eudora input from now and then do this trick later by reloading after the Eudora infobot scene but I'm w I want to show this trick so I'm not gonna get the Eudora infobot but for your information you can do this later if you want to you don't have to do it like exactly after the heli pack but uh, the reason why it's smart to do like on Caravan is because it seems like for some reason the trick doesn't work forever so if you wait until like Glark it's gonna disappear but yeah here what you need to do is kill a dog or something I'm just gonna kill these two and you see like that's insane they drop a lot of bolts and they usually don't drop a lot of bolts but you don't pick up the bolts because the reason why you have to kill a monster is just to trigger the glitch. I don't know exactly why you have to kill a monster, but I think it's because the game now thinks that you have the jackpot, which is extremely rare to get normally. I've gotten it like maybe two or three times casually playing and also speedrunning this game. But now when you kill the monster you get an insane amount of bolts, even though you shouldn't be able to get that many bolts from a dog. I think you get like the helicopter drops from the dog, which means the game now thinks you have jackpot. So th the next crate you're gonna open is gonna be insane. And what you can do here, for example, is you just touch this red one. And you don't collect the bolts yet, but you're gonna see if you shake out the bolts there. Like that's a lot of bolts. But what you do here is you aim your bomb at this crate. You don't have to actually aim it a lot, but just aim it at that crate and then exactly after you throw it at that crate, you're gonna throw it at this crate too. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna get like a lot of bolts there and then 2000 here. Uh, my father is making food, so it's a bit loud here, I'm sorry for that, but yeah. You get 3600 bolts here, uh, well 3500 because you had a few before. And what happens now is get like one bolt every crate after that and there's actually actually a way to reset this so if you don't want like if you want to collect more bolts here on Caravan but don't want to just wait it out because if you wait until Blarg like you get the Dora you don't get any bolts and then you get to Blarg you're gonna get the regular amount again so it's possible to just wait out so you don't have to worry about it forever or whatever but it's good to know at least that if you want to get rid of this, you can just go the Dora path and then kill one of those spawners. And what happens when you kill the spawner is you get the regular amount of bolts. And after that, you can just keep on going. It's I can actually show you, like, it's pretty quick. Because now when I'm reloading the game, I'm gonna have jackpot again. But, like, I reloaded without saving, so it doesn't matter. It's like... You don't get anything at all. But I'm just gonna show you quick. And I realized it was faster to use reload than get back. So yeah. First, if you want, like, I can show you that it can trigger you. Yeah. Okay. If you just kill a dog, you're gonna get the insane amount of bolts, and then you just don't get this crate. But yeah, you get the jackpot, but like, you don't get that many bolts because it's usually shit. And you see here, if you kill more dogs, you're gonna get one bolt from each of them. And yeah, this is gonna happen until, I think it's until you collect the same amount of bolts that you got from the crates. 
And I think the reason why that happens is this game seems to be based around the fact that you have like a specific amount of bolts that you can get on every level. And that means when you abuse the game like this and get the Yakpot or the Yankpot, like which the trick is named, you're gonna mess up the game and now the game realizes, realizes oh we have to fix this so then you get like one bolt until you have recovered the bolts and <laughs> yeah that's nothing you want to happen usually but if you would want to just fix the glitch or whatever you can come here like on the Adora path and then get up here and I can show you, like, if you kill the dog and everything, like, it's not because of the time. Like, if you take this crate, you're gonna get one bolt in each. But if you actually kill the spawner, you're gonna get the regular amount of bolts. Oh, <laughs> I'm alone. Hope I'm gonna die here. Oh. And then you can just keep on getting the normal amount of bolts that you usually get, so... Now everything is fixed, but I would probably not recommend, that, re recommend doing this either way, because either you're gonna collect the bolts before doing the yank pot, or you should just collect the bolts from the yank pot, and then after that not worry more about bolts. So you should just wait until dark, or you should just, yeah, you shouldn't do this method because it's pretty shit, so. I would recommend doing it, getting the Eudora info first and then reloading the game. Because also if you get the Eudora info bot first, like before you reload for the crack yank yank pot, you're not gonna have to worry about bolts. Because you can get the regular amount of bolts before yank pots. So you can just take these crates and get the bolts, so it's fine, it's no problem. So if you need more than the bolts you get from Yank Pot, I would just recommend doing the Eudora thing. And then just getting the Yankbot bolts later. And also, like, you don't need to just do this on Kerbin. I actually have footage of other planets where I do this, but I messed up the process of editing and all that, so I'm just gonna tell you about them and then you can find them out yourself if you want to. But for example, if you go to Battalia, you can do the Yankbot trick by killing one of those huge, like, uh, Cannon ship, no, not ships. Cannon tanks. Yeah, the, the huge cannon tanks. They take like some ten bombs or whatever to kill. But if you kill one of those, you're gonna get 300 volts, and then you can trigger Yankpot. I think the monsters that you can trigger Yankpot with needs to drop at drop at least like the huge bolt things, and those are worth 100 each. So, like for example. I'm pretty sure at least I couldn't trigger the Yankpot with these monsters because when I kill them they drop like a random amount of like 5s and 1s and maybe 10s possibly but it's still not enough to trigger the Yankpot with. I'm gonna try around with a few monsters so I can know exactly how many I need to kill for the Yankpot but you can do it on Battalia and the good thing about Battalia is that if you do it on Battalia gonna try this. If you do it on Battalia you can actually I just wanna try another thing. Yeah, that's pretty cool. If you do it on Battalia you can actually get like eight thousand bolts by getting in the trespasser room and all that. And you can also do it on Gaspar because those spawners, as you see the ones that I killed, there's a spawner on Gaspar and they drop like at least 300 bolts. They're actually really useful to kill. And then you can use the spawner to trigger the Yankpot on the tab on Gaspar. And you can just use the tank to trigger the Yankpot on uh, the tab. You should probably be able to trigger it on most planets, but the ones that are the most useful is probably doing it on Battalia, on Kerbal, and maybe on Gaspar. I mean you get like 5,000 bolts on Gaspar, which, I mean, of course it's a lot, but compared to Kerwan, which is easier to trigger, or compared to Batale, which is so many bolts, I don't think Gaspar is worth it. Because right now, as it seems, you can only use the Yankpot once. If you use it again, it's gonna mess up and you're gonna get one bolt on every kill. And also, like, when you have made a Yankpot save, the save is gonna be corrupted. 
So if you save over that fail file, you're gonna get like yank bot on the first crit on the next like weld in one on the save. And not only I mean that's cheating so you can can't do that, but also it's not very useful because then you can't do yank bot on curve one or any useful planets. So I would recommend like when you've done a save, you should just remove remove the files if you're not planning to like try to mess around with the iPhone or whatever. But that's only really something to think about if you, for example, if you do yank button curve and, and then you die or something because you're trying to get to the swing shot and you want to reset, you should just remove that file and not save over it because then you're gonna mess up the next file. And because of this, I don't recommend like cash or whatever to use this because it's not gonna be good to get bolts. It's not like a good trick to save time to get bolts. It's gonna mess up your save and you're gonna have to start over all again so this is only useful for like any percent and all gold bolt speed running because like you shouldn't do this to get bolts because it's such a like small amount compared to like later levels to be like honest but yeah I think this was everything that's needed to know about the like Yankbot glitch. And if you have any questions you can ask just ask me in the comments and I'm gonna try to respond to every one of them. Have a nice day guys.